on the next episode of Learning from Leo. You ever hear a pitch say, well, I can't walk the guy because the base is loaded? Yes, you can. If you only give up one run, you can. I never ran into a pitcher that I didn't like. Glavin owned the down and away strike. Maddox owned the down and away strike. Smolsey owned the down and away strike. If you don't own the down and away strike, throw it all out the window. I think everything they're doing now, we did. Only they word it differently. I saw players lose respect for coaches that did that sort of thing. It's a great term to use, firm. Be firm those pitches up. You, last I heard, you can't steal first. It's Smolsey. So what the hell are you doing? I said, well, 30, that's 32 straight fastballs. You're hearing Johnny Sane and me speak the same language. Because we, you know, we were kind of rebels. If we, if we went strike one, we were going to win. But you can't improve velocity unless you throw a baseball. That's harder on your arm than staying in your own routine. Wait do you hear this. What, what, if he, what if he had to pitch that night? I said, that's what we were preparing for. Your most important pitch is always your next pitch. This program does not work. No, that was my analytics, okay? And here's what you got to remember. A lot of guys, when their velocity went down, quit trusting their fastball and start trying to trick a hitter. It was everybody for 15 years. I said, Hit- hitters have egos, and I'm going to take advantage of them. This is the key, guys. They control their effort. I am being paid for what I've done not what I'm about to do. What would you take away from your experience uh, in Baltimore? It's miserable.